Hi guys, so this is just a quick video to show you how to set up Facebook paid advertising. Um, Facebook paid can work really well, not as great as it once did, you know, when it was really cheap, um, you know, a year or so ago, but still relatively cheap in comparison and something that everyone should be doing and it's quite simple and easy to set up. First of all, what you have to do is have a business page, you can't really promote your own personal profile. So boosting a post and all the other kind of advertising options all work through your Facebook business page. So you need to create a page first and foremost. Then when you've created your page, this is what a page looks like. And from here, you can obviously share photos, advertise your business, which is the part we're going to be talking about, create offers, do live videos, publish a job post, get messages, get phone calls and stuff like that. But the paid side of it is what we want to discuss here. And it's this little button here, advertise your business, which will give you all your kind of paid promotion options. So how would you like to grow your business? And it gives you boost the post, set up a, an, another ongoing promotion, promote your business locally, promote your page, get more messages, get more website visitors or get more customer contacts. So I'm just going to quickly run through all of the options with you. So boosting a post um, is to get more people to see and engage with your page or posts. The post can be, you know, a video or whatever you may want it to be. So here is the, the I spoke at Brighton SEO um, last month and I put my slides up on my Facebook page. So this is something I could potentially boost to people here. So here is my slides on Brighton SEO and they're up, uh, uploaded to SlideShare. So I could potentially boost this. Now, what results would I like to get from this post? So do I want people to come to my website or do I want people to comment and share or engage and chat with potential customers? You can select your options here. For this one, I obviously want people to, to come to this particular website and view the slides. So that is what I want to do. And you can change that there. The post button is that little part there, learn more. So obviously because it's slides, I want people to learn more. So they'll click on that. But you could potentially have shop now, book now, sign up, get direction, send message. That's just your call to action button. Audience. You can choose people through targeting. You can choose people who like your page, people who like your page and their friends. Um, and this is just some other audiences that I've got down here um, that, you know, that I would choose to target. Um, so people you choose to target is probably your best option. And what you can do is choose specific um, genders. So it can be everyone or men and women. Age range, 16 to... 65 plus. I don't really have any range for people who might be interested in SEO. And you can then start to pick or remove locations. So if I don't want to target people in France, I can remove that, remove that, remove that, remove that, remove that. And that would just be the UK audience. But then I could potentially say, right, I want to add Austria. And you'll see that the potential reach is continually going up. So between the UK and Austria, I've got a potential reach of 48 million. Now, how you would narrow that down is you would then start to add demographics, interests or behaviours. So search engine optimization. I'm going to add that in. So you can see that that quickly takes that down from 48 million people down to 290,000 people. And that is something that uh, you can continue to refine. So internet marketing. And then you can click suggestions and it'll have various other interests here. And you can see the more interests I select, the higher this figure goes up. Um, in those areas. So you want to try and refine your audience or you can keep it as refined as you possibly can. And then you would click save and you'll see that that's the kind of targeting demographics there. You can also run the promotion on Messenger, Instagram, or just on Instagram. 
and you can then select your daily budget or your total budget or whatever you want to do there. Um, importantly, the duration is down here, so you can run the ad for one day, seven days, 14 days, or whatever day you want. If I want to run it for two days, then I can do that. And uh, you can set it all up on here, and it will tell you your esti estimated people reach and you can adapt your budget. Now you can put your budget to whatever you want. If you only want to spend 10 pounds, then it's only really going to get me between 2,800 and 13,000 people per day. And <coughs> down at the bottom here, tracking conversions, I've obviously got a Facebook pixel set up and that's my payment details. So if I wanted to go ahead and promote this particular post, I simply click boost and that post will get approved and it will be boosted for the duration that I want a Facebook post to be boosted. But what I want to reiterate is the most important part here is people you choose through targeting. Make sure that you are targeting the right type of people to click on your page. There is no point in setting up very loosely and getting all these unnecessary uh, clicks or people onto your website. They're not going to convert well, so make sure your money is spent properly um, by doing this. Now, I'm not going to go ahead with that, so I'm just going to cancel that promotion. So that's what boosting a post is. Um, really easy to do, and you can also, when you do a post, create the post here, add the image, and just click boost post from there um, as well if you want to boost a post. Setting up a, an ongoing campaign. So, as it says here, Start by choosing a goal. What, do I, what What is my goal um, by doing an ongoing promotion? Is it to raise awareness of my business in the local community to get people onto the website or get more customer contacts? I would imagine for my business it's pretty much a bit of everything, but I would really want to make sure that I'm known locally to people. So I'm going to select that option. You select whatever suits you. Um, you can run your ads continuously. You don't need any marketing expertise and you can get in, uh, you know insights and guidance um, using the kind of insights and stuff like that from your campaign so click get started and i can pick the kind of radius from my office space there so i can do it within a you know two mile radius uh, two kilometer radius or a 20 kilometer radius it really doesn't matter Obviously, the more radius there, the potential reach is going to increase. You can click advanced options here, and you can obviously select age range and stuff like that, um, and gender. Then you click next, and you can create up to six ads. The ads is entirely up to you, what you want to try and promote. And this is where you can create your call to action and stuff like that as well. So if it's people to get directions or send you a message, then, you know, change that. You can change the text here. You can change the headline there. And you can replace your images and edit your images here. And you can preview your ads over on the right-hand side here. So I'm just going to click Next. And it's going to ask me what my daily budget is. And, you know, it can be £2 a day, £3 a day five pounds a day or whatever you want to promote your business you know the budget is really up to you and uh, you'd simply click start promotion and that will give you an ongoing local promotion in your local area on facebook um, you don't get to target people who are specifically into specific interests it is just simply to raise local awareness for your business so quite a good option there if you're a new local business Next one is promote your business locally. It's very similar to the, the one I just mentioned, but you can refine the interests. So you can do local business and you can refine the interest there. Um, so if you were targeting you know, accountants in your local area or whatever it may be, whatever your customer audience is, then you would use this option rather than the um, second option on the panel there and everything else remains pretty much similar you know the budget um, the kind of creative side of it 
you can change the image here, text, headline, and importantly, the demographics for me are really important. So I would consider that one more than the kind of running an ongoing promotion on your website, but down to personal preference. Promote your page. So connect with more people, uh, connect more people with your page. Again, it's just to get people to connect with your page, like your page, and you can see the kind of call to action there is to like the page. You can obviously run the campaign for as long as you want, um, or as short as you want. You can obviously just tick, choose when the promotion will end, or you can do it continuously. And again, the most important part is people you choose through targeting, and you can create your own audiences and stuff like that here if you wanted to target specific audiences. So that is promote your page. I'm just going to click and advertise your local business. Again, I don't know what's going on here. It appears to be going really slow, but I'm in Portugal right now and the internet connection is pretty poor. So I would imagine it's probably got something to do with that. But that is promote your page, get more messages. So your goal could be to get encourage people to message you using your Facebook paid advertising. And that is what an ad would look like with the call to action saying message here. Again, create the headline, create the text, you can upload a video, images, and again, you can change that call to action if it was to buy something, book something, whatever, and you can change that. And again, key part is the audience that you target with your ads and your budget and time promoting is all down there as well. So they all pretty much do similar stuff, it's just different goals really um, so that's to get more messages get more website visitors again the creative um, ad stuff will appear here and not sure yeah learn more so obviously learn more would take you to my website um, audience really important again run the promotion on Instagram if you want and choose your spend and whatnot there and create a new audience, create a new audience or create a, an audience that you've already got set up there um, through targeting. So again, people who like your page or people you choose through targeting, so location specific, and then you can choose all their interests. So that is who I would want to like my page, people who were interested in what I had to say. So. I would use that option for that. And finally, the last option with Facebook advertising would be get more customer contacts. This is slightly different and um, where it creates a little form for you. So if you want to collect people's email address, names and phone numbers, then you can select all of those there. You can call the form whatever you want to call the form customize the form text headline and you would probably have to be quite creative in terms of what you put there in the line and uh, the headline and text probably some kind of offer or sign up or buy-in or whatever to get people to agree and then you can obviously pick your language and stuff like that and add a privacy policy optional you probably want to make sure that that's on there with GDPR coming out and stuff like that. And you can obviously get a little form on there and you can try and get people to sign up to that form so that you are collecting data from your paid Facebook advertising. So Facebook advertising is not that complex. The most important thing is getting the right message out there to the right people, and in most cases, you'll be boosting a post or a video. Um, I find that video works really well. I'm not 
too fussed on trying to get people to send me more messages. That happens naturally if you're promoting to the right people anyway. Um, don't really like to try and collect contact form information either. But some of the other stuff promoting yourself locally is quite good. But for me, in most cases, it's always going to be boosting a post, a video, slideshow, or something else that I choose to do. Um, and you can also create an offer and you can also boost that as well. So if you've got 10% off of a product or a promo code or whatever, then you can do that and boost it. I find that that works a lot better. Um, I don't really want to see this. Um, but you can create a post and boost it and it can have a video, text, infographic or whatever you want and that will make sure that you target the right kind of people um, through the audience that you set up and that is how easy Facebook advertising is. It's not that hard, there is no skills, there's nothing else that's missing out here that you can do. It is really simple and easy to set up and something that everyone can do and it will help them promote their business to a um, you know Facebook audience out there and, and more targeted people. So bear that in mind and yeah, it's as simple as that. If you get any questions, do feel free to get in touch. But hopefully this is a good Facebook advertising guide for people out there who are not too sure what to do.